Hey guys, it's Rachel from Paper Ventures. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing a scrapbook process video with you using the Cray Paper Maggie Holmes um, Chasing Dreams collection. I'm so used to saying gather because I use that for so long. But uh, anyway, so I chose this light blue kind of watercolory background or paper for my background. Um, I... The inspiration is, I don't know if I showed it or not, but it's a um, photo actually that Maggie Holmes posted that she did using, I believe it was using this collection. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, and so that was kind of my inspiration. Um, and I love the grid layout. It's one of my favorites to do because it use I don't know, this sounds weird, but it uses up a lot of like my, my um, ephemera and cutouts and I get to really use a, use up a lot of it and have fun with it and just dig in and see all the prettiness. So, um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about doing another layout. Usually I think I do my picture kind of more in the center. I don't know where I went, why, <laughs> why I have this little pause, but, um, oh, there I am. Okay. I'm back. So anyway, um, I'm going to, oh yeah, I was just saying that I usually put my photo near the middle, but the picture that I found from Maggie Holmes was the picture is on the bottom left. So it was perfect. Um, so yeah, just to try something new and, and, uh, get out of my comfort zone a little bit. And I'm just putting some old chipboard behind this photo so that I can prop it up and give it some dimension. I do that on three different pieces three different little pieces in this uh, in this project. So finding the right place for it and perfect. And now I'm gonna adhere this tag. And at first I put some adhesive on that one, but then I was like, oh wait, I kinda wanna give that one dimension. Um, and so that's what I do. I get some old chipboard and do the same. And, and then I also do it for the top middle one that says dreams are for chasing. Um, so it kind of gives that like triangle look. I kind of was going for that. Make a visual triangle. Oh, there's my cat coming to say hi. Coming to ruin my projects. Something like that. One or the other. All right. So putting the old chipboard on that as well. That's probably what I'm doing right now. Um, and I'm going to place it on. Whoops. Someone went flying. So anyway, I hope you've all been well. Um, I love reading your comments and, and, um, getting to know other people in the crafting community. So that's always a lot of fun. So thank you for commenting and interacting. And I try to do the same for others too, and get to know other people. So that's really fun. Um, okay, so now comes the fun part, embellishing all this stuff. So that rosette uh, with the butterfly is actually from my great pen pal, Kira. I will put her information down below so that you can look at her videos. They're wonderful and inspiring, and she is very talented. So you'll have to check that out. Actually, a lot of the stuff she got me um, the first time we swapped or that she gave me was uh, Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams collection. I didn't have that collection yet, but I was like, oh, I love anything Maggie Holmes, and I think she does too. So I just had to get more of the collection. So I did. <laughs> so anyway, the chipboard that says happy is from the chipboard from the collection. And then um, the little ephemera pieces that I'm putting down are all from ephemera or stickers from the collection. That little bird is from the ephemera pack. And um, I think I do prop it up on some diamond, like make it dimensional too. And I think I do that with also the word, the heart that says love you. I think that's what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm just propping it up a little bit so that there's lots of dimension in this photo and it's not so flat, especially with there being so many pieces on this photo, I don't want it all to be flat because that would look, might look a little boring. Now I don't always um, put dimension in all my layouts, but for this one, I just think because there's so much and there's so many squares and rectangles and, and different pieces of paper that it might look kind of r like really flat if I didn't, 
um, put any dimension to it. So, yeah. Now I'm just adding You Are My Happy and some other little chipboard pieces. This was not a special moment or anything, just a really cute picture I got of my cat when she was laying on our bed. She just loves our new um, bed, um, like, duvet that we got. She loves it. She just, whenever I make the bed, she comes running over and loves it. Just lays down and gets comfy. So now I'm just kind of making some clusters uh, I kind of made a few more clusters than I planned on because I wanted to do like a visual triangle, but I didn't quite achieve that, but that's okay. I think it still turned out all right, but, um, I have a little cluster in the bottom left and then that middle piece is just kind of like filled with stuff. And then the top right piece also becomes a cluster in some way, I think. The little puffy stickers are so cute. All of the pe all everything from anything Maggie Holmes does is cute. You've got to agree with me there. Like, I always love her collections. She never lets me down. They're always so cute. Oh, I love them. But, yeah, it's hard to resist anything Maggie Holmes. Who is with me on that one? <laughs> anything Crate Paper does is always unbelievable. They always think of the cutest things they don't duplicate anything from at least from what I see only the good stuff they duplicate and then uh well everything's good but anyway um yeah and Cray Paper just thinks of the most unique things like the Oasis collection is so like Palm Springs themed sure it's not everyone's thing but it's still so cute and then the cute girl collection was adorable and so fun and so colorful and I loved all the animals and all the fun stuff. So they always just think of the most unique things and I love it. And then Maggie Holmes is always full of flowers and animals and just everything cute. <laughs> so now I'm adding some little uh, word stickers to add in some more gold because I did have some more gold or I did have some gold in there already. So I just wanted to make sure I added a little bit more. And then, of course, I'm coming in with my enamel dots. I went to Hobby Lobby last night, which I have to go over the border to because in Canada, we don't have a Hobby Lobby. So it's about a half an hour drive, depending on, on the wait at the border, of course. But um, to get there is only probably less than a half hour if there's no wait. Um, so anyway, I went there last night and, of course, they were 50% off, which they usually are when I go there, but the enamel dots were 50% off, so I bought, I may or may not have bought nine packs. <laughs> I just wanted to stock up. I don't always go to Hobby Lobby, and I, own, I know I always use enamel dots. So anyway, there you go. Um, so now I'm adding some Heidi Shine, or not Heidi, you know. Okay, I watch Inky Quill, okay? So I call it Heidi Shine. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go search up Inky Quill and watch her videos. <laughs> so I'm adding some gold and then kind of mopping it up a little bit because I got some on the right dab in the middle of that heart. Whoops. Um, but I add some gold just a little bit because sometimes I find myself going a little bit uh, too crazy with the, with the spray. But this black one, I think, is from, like, what's it called? Tattered Angels or something like that. So it's like a sparkly black. It's really nice. I like it. So just finishing it off with that. And I think that's it. So let's see. Yeah, I don't see. I don't think I add anything else. Do I? Do I? Mm, nope. Okay, there we go. So... Here are some close-ups of it. Let me know. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. Let me know what you think of this, this uh, process and this video. And if you are loving the Chasing Dreams collection as much as I am. So here is just a really close close-up view a picture of the layout. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. I just love this collection so much. I hope you have a great day. Bye.